Dr. Sule Mandi, the acting provost of FCT College of Education, Zuba, has expressed worry over cases of rape and sexual abuse among schoolgirls while urging the federal government to empower institutions to fight the menace. We are not happy that it is happening, uh, but I will also call on the federal government to empower institutions that are consigned with securing Nigerians. I will uh, call on federal government to make sure that those institutions are properly empowered and uh, given all the opportunities and the tools they will use to work, especially the army, the police, and all the security agencies should be more empowered so that uh, they'll be able to tackle uh, the, the ills that we currently face. He said this had a program organized by Women at Risk International Foundation, a non-governmental organization, to address the prevalence of rape, gender violence in the society in Abuja. Dr. Kemi Dasuvaibru, founder of WARIF, said the NGO was established to address the prevalence of rape, gender violence on girls and women in society, and the program is done in partnership with the European Union and United Nations Spotlight Initiative. In tackling this our objective, we recognize that the educational space was one that needed attention. And so we design and implement programs, both for secondary schools as well as tertiary institutions like the Federal College of Education. Well, this particular school-related activity is in partnership with the EU-UN Spotlight Initiative. And these sponsored activities are across the country, not only to highlight the issue of gender-based violence, of school-related sexual abuse and um, sexual harassment that occurs, but also to be able to offer a tangible solution to tackle the problem. So we come into universities and higher institutions like these ones. We create response teams like we did this morning in partnership with the students and the school authorities. And we allow this team to come together and establish policies or strengthen existing policies and ensure that there's proper reporting hierarchies and that proper essential services are available to students that may be survivors of sexual harassment in their schools. Ms. Eze Vivian, a student of Federal College of Education, Zuba, called for increased sensitization of rape victims and urged them to speak out rather than allow the trauma linger. Although it's very hard to come out because I've witnessed um, something like that, but when we come out and speak out, we'll see that we are helping ourselves and we are helping the society. I, I, let me use myself for example. I stay in ghetto. And I know a lot of people that pass through gender-based violence a lot. So if the government will be able to go down to the grassroots, speak to them, know their opinion, and work together with the non-governmental organization to fight gender-based violence, I think our society will be a better place. Coordinator of the program, Mr. Damilola Adelusi, said such advocacies would end all forms of gender-based violence. Um, here we are, we are in the College of Education in Zuba, in Abuja here, uh, as part of our, our program initiative, our initiative under the EU-UN Spotlight Initiative uh, to create awareness and sensitize the campus community, that the students and the staff members and everyone in the campus community about the prevention and response to sexual and gender-based violence. The EUN Spotlight Initiative came into Nigeria with a vision. And that vision is to put an end to all forms of gender-based violence and harmful practices against women and girls in Nigeria. Now, this, uh, this, cannot, this cannot, cannot be addressed without the support of government.